tell the boys and girls like it's the Tigers commenters, these are scares, those are scares, just generally everybody who watches these videos. Uh, welcome back! Incoming! <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to a different, not to say different, new video! So what I've been seeing a lot of people talking about on social media recently is JD Sports. Now, if you don't already know, JD Sports posted one of type of these pictures here. You'll see it in the area in the front of my face. And uh, it is basically a guy on a bike wearing a pair of Nike, 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 Nike or Max or something, something along that lines. Forgive me. I'm not a sneaker, sneaker trainer person. And basically, and I don't, I don't think I, I, I say what everybody else is saying, that that, is, that to me is irresponsible advertising, because it isn't a motorcycle shoe. I know they're not aiming for motorcycles, they're aiming for little, little scroots who steal motorcycles and they just don't care obviously they don't care because they're getting clicks and the controversy is just jet propelling that advert to other people and I'm talking about it someone else is talking about it and I think advertisers should be held responsible for whatever they're they're advertising, you know. Just because I'm advertising advertising gun oil doesn't mean I show myself looking down the barrel of a gun with my hand on the trigger. You know what I mean? Like, and I know, I know. There's going to be the people who are like, "But donkey, you can wear whatever you want on a motorcycle." Yeah, you can. You definitely can. But you're definitely not right in the head if you're work if you're doing that take me for example i have first-hand experience in uh wearing trainers on a motorcycle and uh i can tell you right now when i came off said motorcycle at about i think it was 20 mile an hour that that uh, came down on that. Le I came down on the left side. I, I from what I can remember, I like skidded along the ground for about what felt like an eternity. But it was about five feet. But in that five feet, my trainer on that left side. The left side of that trainer disintegrated and I'm not talking like, you know, disintegrated slightly, I mean it disappeared. And boy was my foot sore for about three or four months after. Out of the many important body parts that you have, the uh, the foot is probably one of them. A little puppy dog. They really do. They will really try and advertise anything and everything to people these days. If you see, and I think it's on Facebook predominantly. If you see it on Facebook, go and read the comments because people are not happy, <laughs> but they're also deleting comments. Because I commented on it, and then like a week later, the same picture popped up again. Uh, my comment wasn't on it, and then I commented the same thing on it, and I just they just kept deleting it. And a lot of the comments were on it were getting deleted. It really is just it, it's mind-boggling how people advertise stuff for them. Oh, they've been out to cut the fields because the weather is getting better. But yeah, if you've seen the advert, let me know what you think. Or just let me know what you think in general. I know that JD Sports is not going to be doing anything about it. If they do, they'll, uh, 
they'll post some half-assed apology on Instagram or the Facebook or something. Or you know, it, it it is it is shameful. And then again, they do struggle to employ people on proper contracts and stuff. From what I heard before, you know, zero hour contract. You know, but I am back from the Scottish bike show. I'm going to be trying to cobble a video together of the very few clips that I took. Because once again, I go on these things, I have big ideas to do a video and I get socially awkward and don't want to do it. Kind of going to have to get over that because I'm getting married in October. So I'm going to need to uh, figure out how to make a speech in front of everybody. Because if I can't do that, that's going to be bloody interesting. <sighs> oh, Jesus. That's hard. So fucking tired. Oh, dear. But yeah, the, the Scottish bike show was absolutely brilliant. A lot of people on the Saturday. So there was, it was great to see. Um, Keith did make a an expensive purchase that he is picking up at the end of the month. Hopefully he gets home with it without any issues. Time to tackle Belfast. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh dear. Hey, we'll get down here, we'll get past the bus and we'll get go into the bus stand if nobody's parked in it. But yeah, it's it's just been busy, busy, busy. As I say, the JD thing really annoyed me because people like that should have more responsibility than they do. <laughs> yeah, I mean people will see that and they're not the brightest of children. And they'll go and they'll buy a motorcycle and wear Nike shoes on it or whatever trainer on it. And then they come off and then they own a nice brand spanking new mechan surgically safe mechano set. Which is quite conveniently placed in their leg. But we'll see. I doubt that they'll ever do anything about it. Too busy counting all that money. Gotta be nice to the bus. I was actually thinking I can't hear that bus, but yeah, I wouldn't be able to because it's electric. Typical R plate driver then. Well, some people in Belfast just are clueless. But let me know down in the comments what you think about the JD thing. I'll put the picture up in the, 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 the thumbnail and where I said it would be. And then let me know. As always, keep it lit. And I'm not going to bore you with the traffic in Belfast. Don't forget, like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I don't spam and I'm still getting the videos out fairly regularly. If not, sometimes slightly off time. Don't forget, keep it lit. And if you can't keep it lit, avoid Belfast traffic at your. Uh, uh, if you, if just avoid it.